Hello, thank you for your email. Yes, you can block websites. So to do that, you will need to go to the user interface of your Asus router. I do not have an Asus router anymore, so I'm going to be using a demo online. But the demo should, should reflect a similar environment to what you have. Once you're logged in, click on Firewall, click on URL Filter, and make sure that your filter table is selected to Black List. Once you have it set to Black List, you can then enter in a website that you wish to have denied from your local area network, such as this adult website, or whichever web website you prefer. Put them in, click on plus, um, you can add in as many as you like. So on and so forth, and then once you're done, click on Apply. All the websites in that list under the blacklist will be denied entry into your local area network and you will be protected from them. And on the flip side, should you wish to allow any websites definite entry into your local area network, such as YouTube, so that you can watch this video, you would simply change black to white click on plus click on apply and anything within the white list will be allowed into your network if i may make a recommendation to you it would be to use the wireless router that i'm currently using in my network here you can see the layout and the functionality and the way you use ASUS as one, which is fine. I find it now a little bit confusing. I don't think the menus are all in the best places. Um, I feel that their choice of words to reflect actions are a little bit Incorrect. So let's have a look at my one. Here is the UI of my wireless router. A lot cleaner, a lot nicer, and personally, I think a lot easier to understand. The first thing you're going to notice is there is information in your face. You can always switch it off, don't show this again, but it basically gives you a clear description of everything that you're doing. So for example, your network center, which is where everything that is related to your network is going to be placed. Security, things you want in and out and protected or whatever, okay. Firewall. And then here within the section of the firewall, we have the slightly better worded allow and block. We have some more advanced and yet easier to understand um, configurational rules such as protocols. Of course, protocols is a little bit more complicated. This is sensible for me, but for example, in source, if you know, or if you happen to know the IP address of the site that you wish to block, then you can pop in an IP. Sometimes it can be that you are getting the same spam email, spam message, spam advertisement, but it's coming from a different website address each time, but the IP or the IP range may be the same then you can just go, I don't care what the name of the website is, anything from this IP, stop it.
You can even go a step further and you can block individual regions. So if, for example, we were to decide to block We can block entire countries. Click, job done. And basically, at this particular point in time, that would mean anything that is or originating from that source trying to get into the network is going to be stopped. You can have destinations, you can have ports, and of course, all of this you will get when you Google but there is the possibility to be a little bit more advanced. So, for example, if you say, I do not want anybody from Russia to get into my network, but I would not mind being able to visit some websites in Russia, this is how you would, for example, configure that. This is your firewall. This is a proper firewall. You can auto-block login attempts. You've got some service options here. But the reason why I'm showing you this is mainly to show you safe access. In safe access, in this little app, which, by the way, all of their apps, like the operating system and the operating system updates, they are all for free, you can create profiles. So let's just take this and delete it so that you can take a look at what setting up a profile looks like. Here we go, add a new profile. Now, if you've not done this before, you're going to see three options. There'll be a third one there saying local area network, which is your entire home network. Here we've got guest and here we've got user. I'm going to ignore guest and I'm going to set up a user. And you can have a few user accounts. Perfect for when you have a couple of children. Give it a name. Then you can also give it a photograph if you want to. And here is the beautiful part. You can select which devices you wish to be affected. So for example, hypothetically, if you wanted to visit porn websites, but you don't want your children to, or if you want to visit, I don't know, violent websites or places where there are a higher level rated adult content like action movies, blood, gore, drugs, but you don't want your kids to see that, then you just exclude yourself from this list and you add in all of the devices that your children have such as their phone, their iPad, their Xbox, their PlayStation, their laptop, whatever. And once that's done, you click on Next. So, for example, kid's phone. Cool, cool, cool. And then we'll create. Sweet. Set the rules. I want a web filter. Here you can do some predefined ones, kids, and here you can see prevent children from accessing adult and illegal websites. <coughs> Clear description, um, employees, or you can get custom and do it yourself. Every time you create a custom list, it saves it. So you can always just go back and go, boom, I want no ads or boom, I want a content filter. Or, boom, This is a test one that I've been doing. And they do not delete, they actually add in there. And then once you've got them, you just go add. Otherwise, you will get to this page and you click on the name of the one that you want. So since I've already baked some up from earlier, we're going to take a look at the ones that I've already used. So here's the no ads category that I have. And this is on the profile local area network, which means it doesn't matter where you're from, if you're visiting my home and you connect to my wireless network or my local area network, you will be 
free of advertisements, for example. Nice, clean, no BS in your face. Buy this, buy that, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, you can get quite uh, creative here. Here, correctly named block list and allow list would be where you put in the websites that you want to have blocked or the websites that you wish to allow into your network. Um, so yeah, if you do get this, play around, send me an email. I'm happy to, to give you a tour and show you how it all works. You can even create a web page, a simple one, where you just stick in a few pictures. For example, picture, done. And then when a person goes to a page that they are not supposed to, they will be presented with the image and some text. And whatnot. So that is the Asus RT2600 AC, the device that I'm using. Um, I can talk all day about reasons why you should get this device, but in a nutshell, it offers you an awful lot of things that you would normally need to purchase um, enterprise grade stuff that costs thousands of dollars, francs, or euros like that category list that we were looking at a moment ago. That category list populates databases. Those databases are essentially built from threat intelligence. And normally to have that kind of a service, you would need to spend a lot of money to, to gain access to it. It's not normally um, something that you would see on a home router. And of course, this is updated by Synology. I find it's pretty neat. Another really awesome thing that I like is for here, example, this is their app store. Here are their apps. Here's a cool app. This here in the business world is known as IPS or IDS, Intrusion Prevention, Intrusion Detection. Um, those two systems are more or less like border control in IDS, the detection system, looks for anything suspicious that could be but not is in your network yet. And then the more heavier use one, the IPS, the prevention, is the one that's literally border patrol that goes, no, stop, you're not allowed in, off you go. This tool slows your internet connection down. So, for example, I have seen enterprise-grade routers that you spend thousands of francs on, thousands of dollars, thousands of euros. Um, for example, a client of mine has a symmetrical one gigabit Ethernet uh, internet connection. That means a thousand megs can be downloaded a second, a thousand megs can be uploaded a second. It's very quick. But, of course, it needs to be distributed within his business. So when he connects it to his... Cisco router, uh, I shall not name the specific name, but it is one of the l slightly low-end models. Um, the incredibly good IDS and IPS system within that router slows the connection down to 700 megabits a second. Still very fast, but a little bit slow for a business. Whereas this little device won't do that if you connect it to a one gig connection it will do the threat prevention and continue to flow through at one gig. It does not hinder the speeds or the effect at which it protects the threats that could be coming into your network. And I know this because I got on the phone to Synology and I questioned them about it because I found it very difficult to believe that they would offer such an expensive service for essentially 200 bucks. Uh, it was a little bit hard to, to wrap my head around, but yeah, you're getting a lot of really, really awesome stuff
for essentially a well-priced once-off payment. You pay it once, you get the operating system, you get the hardware, you get the software for free. And it does exactly what it says in the tin. So if my recommendation does happen to rub off on you, then it is probably for the better. And should you need any help, or if there is anyone else out there who happens to have a Synology router and has questions, and you don't get the answer from the documentation or their incredible support, you can always send me an email and I'll be very happy to help you. Thank you all for watching. Again, thank you very much for your email. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy. Cheerio.